Hello traders, welcome to a new video here on the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna make a pretty quick video. This came up because of a, uh, a question that one of my viewers had in one of my videos uh, regarding how do you move charts when you are in Sierra chart just like you do in TradingView. So I'm just gonna show you exactly the settings that I have and how you can achieve of uh, the same uh, kind of chart interaction on Sierra as you can on TradingView. Okay, so before we get in, just make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. So right here, this is a TradingView chart, just a random Forex chart. As many uh, of you, I'm sure you're all probably familiar with TradingView. It's definitely, I'm pretty sure, the most popular platform in the world. And it's just a very simple, easy to use platform and a very simple, clean interface. Now, when you go into Sierra charts, it may be a little daunting because it looks a little bit clunkier and it definitely has a lot more options and things to learn. So when you open TradingView, you have your cursor, you can activate the crosshairs, which I have activated, which basically shows you the values on the vertical and the horizontal scale, as you see here. And this, you just go to settings, and it's pretty much uh, right here. This is just the crosshair option. But the main thing is how you move. If you just click your mouse, and you drag the chart, you can just move it in any direction you want. If you go down into the time scale, you can click and drag it and just expand, contract the chart. And if you go into the vertical, if you use your scrolling wheel, or if you just click on it, it's just gonna expand and contract the vertical scale, okay? So that's pretty much, you know, how trading view works and how most of you i'm pretty sure are used to working before you migrate into sierra chart so now let's just go into sierra chart and i'm going to show you exactly what settings you need to have in order to do that uh, by default when you open sierra chart if you go into tools you can see up here there's several options there's pointer there's chart values crosshair and there's hand the pointer is just the basic uh, setting. The um, chart values crosshair. If you see as I move, there's a crosshair and it's going to show me the value on each of the scales highlighted. And then if you go and you put the hand tool by default, when you put the hand tool, it's only going to let you move your chart side to side is not gonna let you go uh, up and down like you can in TradingView. So you're only gonna be able to do this. So what do you wanna do in order to have all the freedom of movement? Well, I'm gonna show you and I recommend you can just pause the video if you wanna just screenshot it or uh, copy it on your computer. You go into tool settings and this is basically what I have. Um, if you go to general, these are the most important things that you should pay attention to in order to do this. First thing, I have after single tool use, change to hand and right click exits current drawing tool into hand. This is because when you select the drawing, like let's say a horizontal line, once you click and place the line, if you don't have this enabled in hand, it's just gonna go back into the pointer and you're not gonna be able to move. So if you put this here in hand, whenever you make a drawing, after you use a drawing or any tool, is gonna go back into hand mode so you can just grab and drag the chart. This one similarly, right click exits current drawing tool, just like in trading view, let's say if you select a horizontal line drawing and let me just show you how that is. Let me just get out of here. So for example here, if I choose a 
when I can choose it here under tools let's say I select horizontal ray I click and now that activates the horizontal ray tool if I want to just um, if I just click and put the drawing you can see that now I'm back in hand mode that is because of that first option similarly if I select horizontal ray and I have it active if I want to cancel this drawing before I put it in I can just right click and then right click again and I deactivated this drawing and now I'm back in hand mode okay so basically those two things like I said you want to select these two options again so always you want um, you want Sierra to always go back into hand mode and then the third thing you need it's this one support vertical scaling movement with hand tool once you select this then you click apply all and you click OK and then when you do that now you get out and now you can just move this just like in trading view you can move left to right you can move up and down if I go into the price in the, the time scale and I click it I can also scrunch it here if I go into the scale on the right there's three options for the right side scale you can right click on it and you see on top there's three options scale range scale move scale locked if you have range on that means if you click you can squish the chart up and down if you have it on move the scale is set and if you click on it it just moves everything up and down but doesn't squish it and if you click locked you cannot move vertically at all you can click and try to drag the chart and nothing happens okay normally I just have this in range because I like to be able to just click here and just squish it just like in trading view and then the same thing would be on this side okay and then as far as chart values under the second menu and tool settings I always I would recommend putting this like I have always on when chart value selected yes and then actions when other tools are selected there is a whole list here and I always have it on always enabled when using other tools what this means let me just get out what that means is if I'm not clicking anything you can see the cursor just moves but if I click while I have the cursor down clicked dragging the crosshair activates and then I can see the time and date and I can see the values on the price scale and similarly if I select the drawing I don't know let's say I select the horizontal line that I want to put a support level here if I click or I go to tools horizontal line I click I activate the tool and now it's not going to drop as as until I click to set it on the chart but you can see when the drawing is activated the crosshairs is also activated at the same time and then once I click and drop it I go back into hand mode and the crosshairs disappear okay so again those things you're gonna achieve with this two options that I have right here and you can see just all the other options that I have as well if you just want to copy them and the final important thing in order to be able to use this just like trading view is go to global settings general settings and go to the GUI menu and then over here select this scroll wheel list you're gonna have a list of options for the scroll wheel and in this case 
I have it always selected as scroll wheel changes spacing this means that when you move your wheel on your mouse it's gonna scrunch and expand your chart and then if I have shift there's two options with shift that I like either you can have it so that if you press shift and you move the mouse wheel is going to move the chart up and down like here or if you choose this one up here scroll wheel changes spacing with shift scroll charts this is going to move the chart left and right when you have shift down but i like to have it on changes spacing and shift changes vertical scale so just click on that click apply all okay and now when you do that if i take my mouse and i move my mouse wheel it's just gonna contract the charts and expand them just like in trading view and if i press shift and move my mouse wheel is going to move my chart up and down or if you select the other option that I showed you is just gonna move it left and right with the shift down okay but pretty much with all those settings I showed you that's how you can replicate exactly how uh, you interact and move charts with trading view again I have my hand tool always enabled so I can just drag everything wherever I want I can click here and expand and contract or I can just use the wheel on my mouse and similarly here I can just click and expand and, contra and contract or I can just select move or just lock my scale and that's pretty much it just with all those things you can pretty much recreate exactly how you move charts in trading view when using sierra chart okay that's pretty much it for the video thank you all for tuning in hope this video was helpful make sure again to subscribe hit the thumbs up i have a lot more sierra tutorials also uh, on my channel so make sure to check those out as well okay i'll see you all in the next video take care